I have no idea what you're hearing. It must be something in the game that I hear so often that I've just completely tuned it out. My, like I said before, though, my best guess is going to be that it's an animal or something. And most likely, I'm going to blame the cat. Alright, let's make a research table now. It's outside, so unfortunately we'll have negatives to our research, but we'll move everything inside eventually. It must be on your side, Kirigo. I am not... Unless it's the sound of like... Is it the... Because if it's that, then that's when like it's informing me of something. Like the fact like I tried to build this outside and it went because I'm trying to put something outside that's an inside object. It'll still work, just not as well. Like that noise? Okay, that noise, it's informing me. Like right now our dog Fantasia just got food poisoning from turkey meat. Okay. Mental break a daze. Ray is in a mental break because of this psychic drone. And right there that told me that we wasted some resources because we failed to build a bench. Well played, Derminator. Well played. Okay, great. We figured it out! Now, what is your guys' problem now? Greedy for impressive bedroom. What is wrong with the bedroom you currently have? It's got a bunch of... Dirt. Oh, you know what? We gotta make sure that no animals go in here. That's part of the problem, because they track a bunch of dirt. We'll set them to home, and then we'll set the home... Oh, wait, no, we can't do that. Because then people won't clean in the room if we make home area not inside of there. Alright, animal area one should basically be everywhere except inside the buildings. Well, except inside the bedrooms, I guess. LS, how have you managed to do no mining so far? What are you doing that is so important? You have one job, dude. One job. That's not technically true. He actually has multiple jobs. Alright, so now let's set the animals to only go in the animal area. Let's get this room cleaned up. Great, the psychic drone is ending. Oh my god, there's vomit all over the floor. I love it! Their dog went in the bedroom, threw up everywhere, and then ran away. Impressiveness. Very impressive. So why are they not happy with their bedroom? Greedy for impress. Your room is impressive! It says it's impressive! It's very impressive! And Ray is still just wandering around in mental days. Dog? That's clearly cat. <laughs> Sylvain. Alright, we need this metal so we can get this research bench. So let's get LS not doing anything else anymore. Oh, hunting is still fine. In fact, we need to do some hunting. Who's... Oh, you know what? Ray is starving because he's in a daze. Alright, LS. Off to the mines with you. Now, we could try and arrest him, but then we would have to, like, re... Um, I guess not hire, but, like, re-enlist him. So, we're just going to let him wander for a while. Eventually, he'll collapse from exhaustion, and then we can get him back, so. Great, we got the second alpaca. 
Ooh, let's try and tame a male one as well. Then we can have a bunch of alpaca babies. Oh boy, babies. Yeah, probably an ancient danger in there. I vote that we don't go get murdered horribly. Yet. Yet. It will happen eventually. Hell, last time, it was a flash storm that opened it. And then I had to deal with it. And I was not prepared. Hello, I'm not prepared! Shut up, Illidan. Um, anyways. Floors, floors, floors. Four. Where else did we have walls? There's that one, but it's not done yet. All building materials. And now we gotta do some hunting. Uh, where's that cougar? As much as I want to tame the cougar, if it goes mad, I'm not sure we'll be able to... Well, we'll be able to deal with it. It's just going to be a nuisance. Uh, this is unknown. Let's make this a medical bed. Where's LS? LS! Dig! Dig, you fool! Absolutely, Kirgo. I love paradoxes. It lets me know I'm not a robot. Because then I can look at them and go, huh, that is a paradox, and my brain doesn't explode. Alright, we need more stuff in here to make this more impressive. More impressive. How about some nice armchairs? Okay, so we're actually going to get this research bench, finally. No one is on plant cutting. Akingorp should be as soon as he's done replanting. And he is, good. The executions will be this week between Monday and Friday, and you will be surprised. Ray is exhausted, which is fine. He'll collapse soon from starvation and exhaustion. The man thinks they can't hang me on Friday since I would expect it, so Friday is no option. Actually, emus are pretty badass. A mega sloth will provide a lot of food, and they don't usually always fight back. Oh, nice, heal root. Oh, I dig. Ray has finally collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Great. So now we need to go rescue him. Oh, we can't. Well, whatever. He'll get up someday. Can't be on Thursday, then, since Friday isn't an option. And so, one, he says that no day would surprise him without the judge contradicting himself. The man is hanged on Wednesday. He was surprised. Unfortunately, I don't really see it as a paradox due to the fact that he is certain that he can't be hung on any day. Therefore, any time he was hung would be a surprise to him. I know that logic, perhaps, isn't the most sound, but because of the guy's reasoning, any time he is hung would be a surprise. His logic is sound? I don't think so. Because his logic is basically, okay, they're not going to hang me on Friday, because I would expect that. But since I would expect it on Friday, therefore, they can't hang me on Thursday. Like, it doesn't have a logical reason behind it.
I know what you're saying, Kirgo, because obviously if he's not hung on the previous days, then he has to be hung on Friday. I mean, I do understand the basic, uh, jeez, we need another campfire. In fact, we should probably just make a fueled stove at this point. We have the materials for it. I mean, when you put it that way, I, I do understand the logic. And it's certainly interesting. Alright, so add bill, simple. Oops. Oh, he can actually make lavish meals. Fine, lavish pemmican. Hmm. I mean, now that you put it that way, I like it. But at the same time... I still feel that his the only day that that logic works for is Friday. Because otherwise, any other day is still a surprise to him. We're just going to do until we have ten of each one. That should keep him busy for a very long time. How are our crops coming? 77%, A56. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit for our crops yet. We need to build a room that's... Oh, we need research also. Uh, we're going to need electricity post-haste. So cat should get on research. Great. Let's add walls to this so it counts as being inside. That way it'll help our buildings a little more. My obsession with their locks is disturbing, but I love them like you wouldn't believe, cause mostly my people are crazy and love berserking. So double doors keep them locked inside for longer while the rest of us cower in fear. Because I'm so shitty to all of my people, they're constantly going crazy. Did they eat anyone? Not yet, Taurus. So far, we have not had to eat anybody. Which surprises me. Having one dedicated cook who does nothing but cooking is, you know, actually working well. As one would imagine. Now I'm putting the torches in here for light, but then it's going to get hot, so now then we need the coolers. Alright, so as long as nothing bad happens, ha ha ha, now that I said that, everything bad is going to happen, um, we should be making some good progress. Oops, I don't want to have those. Oh, I get that, Kirgo, but unfortunately the other part of that coin... In terms of that man's logic, it's infallible in terms of Friday, but that doesn't make it infallible in terms of the other days, and the reason being, any other day is implicit in terms of being a surprise, because on Friday, he knows it has to be Friday, but when Thursday shows up, it could be Thursday or Friday, thus making it a surprise. So the only day that that is implicitly true, that it must be, is on Friday. Because I do understand the other flip where you're coming from, well, obviously it 